Oh boy. I need to get to bed. <laughs> it's 1.46 in the morning. And I have to get up at 5.30. Gosh. <laughs> well, thankfully, I'm not the one driving, so whoop to do Hey there, guys. Sean Allen here. Yes. Uh, it's time for another Disneyland vlog. Kind of awkward for me because normally I would start my vlogs by either waking up to go to Disneyland or I'm actually heading to Disneyland. This time, I am actually going to bed, so you guys are going to see a before and after shot of me. Uh, <laughs> gosh, I am exhausted. These last few days have been so stressful right now. So as you probably read on the uh, special title for this vlog, it, I am literally celebrating my 27th birthday today. Technically, my birthday is on December 12th, but today is December 11th, so... In reality, today is my unbirthday, my last unbirthday for my 26th year. But tomorrow is my official birthday. But okay, I'm getting, I'm getting you guys confused. All right. So basically, uh, tomorrow my birthday, I have a blackout date because it's a weekend. I can't go to Disneyland as well, so I have to go today. So uh, why am I up so late? Well, one of the reasons why I'm up so late is because I've literally been working on some more videos. I've been also downloading my footage onto my computer, and. Um, you know, I'm just uh, thinking about what has happened this last year of my life, you know, the, my 26th year. And I have to admit, it's been an eventful one. Um, a few days ago, I had a little bit of a rough time. Uh, I kind of posted what was going on on Facebook, uh, a video that of what happened. Uh, and um, uh, let's just say that it was something that happened behind the scenes while I was literally finishing up finals and I did not want it to happen but it did um I'm very upset that it happened but I got through it uh thankfully and I'm doing okay now uh, let's just say that it, it involved kind of a severe panic attack uh, I've never had one before um <clears throat> and it's you know I don't like talking about stuff that's too personal, so I'm going to try to keep it as plain as I can. There was a lot of stress involved, um, and it was not one of the most pleasant moments of my life. Um, and it wasn't my fault. Um, I was I was trying to keep things calm and everything, but I'm just going to leave it at that. But um, I got over it. I'm doing a lot better now. I think things have gotten resolved, and thankfully my finals are over literally a week early <laughs> technically finals is supposed to end next week but uh these uh we didn't really have any final exams for our, my two classes so um it's kind of uh fun to be able to finish classes a week early but for those of you who are still studying for exams sorry i'm done <laughs> Okay, that sounds prideful i do apologize but for those of you who are studying for finals i hope you guys do very well and you know Get good grades. That's all I can say. I literally have like a like another year before I am done, officially done with college and just classwork in general. Like I literally started, you know, classwork and school since kindergarten. Uh, that would be so great to be able to officially stop doing that. And I know that some people would be like, well, why don't you go to a PhD degree? <laughs> I can't do that. I can ser I seriously cannot get a doctorate or anything like that. If I just get a BA. I'd be cool with it. I don't. I already have uh, an associate's degree in media arts directing, um, but my next goal is to get a bachelor's degree in media, uh, well, uh, uh, multimedia production, and I've only got one more year left to um, to do to to get this bachelor's degree. Hopefully, it will get me somewhere in the future, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, I guess uh, I guess I should better tell you very quickly one of my classes because I know you guys will be very jealous of me when I say this, but if you've already seen my video about the off-the-page building or shop over in Disney California Adventure, uh, you know I have a passion for comic books. And over here on my shelf, I've been reorganizing it, or my bottom shelf, to contain a whole bunch of my comic books. And down here, as you can see, are the comics. These are all of my DC comics right here. And I'd say about maybe... 70% of them are Batman comics. And I have some graphic novels here. Um, this is this actually contains the first Batman comic. I do have uh, the Superman one, but I think it's off the shelf right at the moment, but I don't see it. I have a lot of the prequel comics from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, a lot of Daredevil stuff. I've been collecting a lot of Daredevils lately. And a lot of Spider-Man. Um, lately, you know, since they 
are trying to reboot a lot of these characters, I think that's, you know, some of these comics might have value to them. So I've been getting literally, like, a whole bunch of these Marvel 1 comics, like the number one Spider-Man, number one Invincible Iron Man. Yeah, I did get the new Prego Spider-Woman comic, even though it's not my cup of tea, but you know what? It's going to be worth something maybe later on down the road. I did see the Thor comic with uh, where he's now a female. Well, it's not he's a female. It's just that he's lost his powers again. Because if you guys have seen Thor, he loses them in the movie. <laughs> now in the comics, he's lost them again. So I think it's his mother that's now gotten his power. So now his mom is Thor. Ay, ay, ay. Then on top of that, we have a new Wolverine. Wolverine is now a woman, too. Uh, well, from what I read in the comic, Logan is supposed to be, like, um, somewhat dead, but kind of still, like, alive in a way. But the new Wolverine is supposed to be a clone of of him. It's technically a new character. I mean, he, she's only got two claws instead of his normal three claws. At first, when I saw that, I was like, oh, boy, another female character, you know, that was once a guy is now being turned to a female. I actually liked the comic, to be quite honest with you. I thought the story was good. It's one of two of the comics that I actually really like. Um, I got the number one Daredevil comic. I got Doctor Strange. This totally awesome Hulk comic, oh gosh. I'm not a fan of that one at all. I got that comic and when I read it, I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, don't like this new Hulk. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting concept, but mm, I also didn't like the new Spider-Man comic that they came out with. They almost make him look like he's a Tony Stark in a way, but I'm like, that's not Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not a Tony Stark type character. I mean, he's a geek, for crying out loud. I mean, he started off in high school, now you're making a multi-billionaire? I mean, uh, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I also got Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, the Avengers. DC, you've got to catch up. You've got major competition. You're getting, like, slammed. I mean, yeah, I know about the Superman-Batman movie that's coming out, uh, but what has Marvel got? they got Doctor Strange, they've got Black Panther, uh, Captain America Civil War... Thor 3. Yeah, they've just been releasing a whole bunch of films. But anyways, yeah, I this class I've been taking is uh, a comic book as literature class, and I've had the best time with this class, like seriously. Um, I my, my assignments were literally reading comic books. How would you like to have a class where your assignments were reading comic books? Well, I can honestly say I did. I did have a class that had those type of assignments, and I loved it. So if you guys are ever heading out to CSUN and want to get a good English class, like if you need it for a major or for just a particular fun course, it's uh, I highly encourage you guys to check out the English 333 class. It's called Comics as Literature, and take it with Charles Hatfield. In fact, this is his book right here. It is called Hand of Fire, The Comics Art of Jack Kirby. Yeah, this is his book. Literally, like the last few semesters when I tried to get this class, they have always been filled up, and... Here's the fun part. If you're taking uh, multimedia production right now at CSUN, you can substitute the script writing class for this class, which I totally would encourage you guys to do. If you don't want to do script writing, take this class as a substitute for the script writing class, which I think is CTBA 327 or something like that. But um, yeah, I did that and... Um, Sweet! And that's all I'm going to say because I want to head to Disneyland, so, well, first I have to take a nap, and then we can head to Disneyland, and then uh, we can have some fun. Alright? Okay. Let's go! Alright, so we're here, and here come the cast members. They're walking up to their registers right now. Here we go. Well, they're probably going to be opening for like another maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, there's the monorail! Monorail orange! Gates are opening. Look at the size of these locks. They're big. All right, they're doing a they're doing a countdown. To our destination. All three of these guys were in a very cool YouTube video. I'll post the link down below. There they are. The candy canes are right there. Oh look, they're making more right now. See? That is so cool. 
So he makes like a big block and they make it into small sections. Look, he's going to put the curve in there right now. That is so cool. He's got that giant one in front of him. Where's the end of that yeah. roll? Down inside? Oh, yeah. there. I see, I see. That is awesome. They let me keep one of their signs that they post outside around the park. That is so cool. Thank you, Disney, so much for that. So sweet. That is awesome. Even has a special, oh, looks like a, a almost like a, a greetings card. That is so awesome. Thank you, Disney Parks. That was really nice of that cast member let me have this. All right, you guys. Well, I just got something in the bag here. If you guys want to know what it is, click the annotation just popped up on the screen. But right now, um, I'm going to end the vlog right now because um, I think I spoke a little too much in this vlog about Marvel and what was going on with my last 26 um, day, year of my life. But uh, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. We're going to be heading out to Goofy's Kitchen in my next Meal Time Ideas on an episode. Plus, I was over at the Candy Palace for a very special item. Um, like I mentioned, it's in this bag. I'll let you guys find out what it is when you click on the annotation. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. See you guys next time here on the Design Video Series. At least we're here, right? All right. See ya. Bye.